Mayor Eric Adams is set to arrive in Puerto Rico, where he will tour the damage left by Hurricane Fiona. The recovery effort continues both in Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic. And to help out with those efforts, members of the New York and New Jersey State Police now in Puerto Rico, where half of the island is still without power. Eyewitness News anchor Joe Torres is in Puerto Rico with more. They lined up at the airport in San Juan, prepared to lend a hand wherever they're needed. 75 troopers from the New Jersey State Police, alongside 50 of their colleagues from the New York State Police, ready, willing, and able to answer the call from their law enforcement partners in Puerto Rico. And many of them have been here before. It's trip number three for Lieutenant Vito Flora, once for Hurricane Maria, two years ago for the earthquakes, and now for Fiona. It definitely breaks our heart, and that's why most of us come out here. We want to help out, and we're compassionate about that. We know everybody in this island has endured devastation throughout years. For the troopers, their initial assignments will largely involve a traffic detail in areas where there is still no power six days after the storm drenched the island with 72 hours of nonstop rain. They are resilient and uh, genuinely appreciative of the work that we're doing out there and know that, you know, us standing traffic post for 12 hours a day in the hot sun yeah. is not easy. It's a very warm reception. Yeah. Um, a, a, it's all cultural, right? Uh, yeah. So it's, it's heartfelt for me, but um, I, I couldn't speak any higher of Puerto Rico. I was here in 17, I'm here now, and I'll come back if I have to again. The Puerto Rican police give instructions to the New Jersey state troopers and the New York state troopers on where to go and what they'll be doing. They're heading to four major Puerto Rican cities, Ponce, Mayagüez, Arecibo, and Aguadilla. And the local police here on the island say their efforts are greatly needed and deeply appreciated. Luis Diaz is a captain with the Puerto Rican police. He's also a New York native, born and raised on Manhattan's Lower East Side. When I see New York State Troopers and when I see NYPD help us, we, we get excited, very excited. That's, and even though New Jersey too, so yeah. they're, they're welcome too. Personnel from the NYPD and the city's emergency management office are on the island as well. In San Juan, I'm Joe Torres, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. And Joe's going to stay in Puerto Rico as the recovery efforts continue. Look for more of his reports on Eyewitness News as well as online anytime at ABC 7 NY. And you can help those affected by Hurricane Fiona. The Red Cross is providing food, shelter, relief, supplies, and other assistance. Just go to redcross.org ABC to donate.